Today we're going to learn how to do this text animation with Geometry Notes. So let's do it. Let's get the camera, the light, go to Geometry Notes, create a new profile. And first of all, we are going to create the text using a string to curve. Now it's empty because we need to write something here. For example, flicker. So here we have a text with a curve. Okay, now let's give a mesh with field curve. And let's move it in the center, select it center, and let's rotate it in this axis. So let's use transform. And rotate it 90 degrees in X. So let's select 90 degrees. Now let's give some volume. So after this, let's add extrude mesh. And I'm going to select something like, I don't know, something like this, maybe 0.3, for example. So we have some volume, however, we have this empty. So let's fix this with join geometry here and making a copy of the original text. And remember, we always have to flip these faces. So let's use flip faces to have the right orientation. If you want and you want to avoid these little dots, you can click here. Okay, so now we have a text. Let's give a material, so let's go here and add set material. Let's select the default material and let's make the background dark, but before let's select render view. Go here, make it darker. And let's make it emit some light, something like that. Let's go here and enable blue. Okay, so we have this text. I'm going to decrease a little bit to have less bloom. And now what I want is to do the animation to rebuild this text. So to rebuild this text with a flicker effect, basically what we have to do is to use here a delayed geometry. So let's go into here and let's reconnect this while you're here. And as you can see now, all the text is being delayed. So to do this animation, what we have to do is to use the selection. It's been everything delayed because we don't have any selection. So let's use the key of this animation is random. And now as you can see, all the mesh is being delayed randomly. If we increase the probability from 0 to 1. When it's 1, everything is delayed. When it's 0, nothing is delayed. However, I don't want to delay the text like this, like seeing this weird effect. So here we need to select instance, because now we have selected point and we can see this weird effect. However, remember the text is instance, so every letter is an instance. So let's select here instance. And now thanks to this, it's going to delete the full letter. So the animation is really easy. Zero, we have all the letters. And if we increase this, the letters will start disappearing. So if you want to rebuild this text, we have to start in this value. So let's create a keyframe. And for example, I don't know, let's go here and now decrease this to zero. And insert another keyframe. And let's go to the beginning and let's press play. So we have this animation. As you can see, it's really easy. However, maybe you are thinking, hmm, but I want to make it more flicker. I want to change the order of the letters. How do you do this? This is really easy too. The only thing we have to do, for example, is to change the seed. So the seed is the order of the probability. So if I change this, as you can see, the letters change. So the only thing we have to do is to come back at the beginning and create a keyframe and then go to the end and select another number, for example, I don't know, 50, and insert another keyframe. So now when we press play, we have two animations. As you can see, now we have this effect, going from 1 to 0 to show the text and changing the order with the seed. If you want to make it faster, what you can do is to change this value. So let's go to the end. And for example, I don't know, select 100, replace the keyframe, and let's try it again. And that's it. As you can see, it's really easy to do this animation. It's just creating a text and using the light geometry 
with a random value. This is the key to do this flicker effect. If you want to make it faster, then decrease the distance between the start and the end. Let's check it. Or if you want to make it slower, then increase the distance. And we can use it to show a text or to hide a text. So what we could do is to go, I don't know, something like this. And let's insert another keyframe. And now change the order. So let's increase this. Insert another keyframe. And for example, this one, I'm going to select 200. And insert another keyframe. Let's check it. I'm going to select this view. And see how it looks like. So we have a rebuild text, and now we hide it. By the way, remember, in any moment, you can change here the extrude of the mesh to make it more flat or to have more volume. And also, if you want, you can go here, click in this icon, and change the font. For example, this one. Or also, you can change the text. So if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.